students welcome back to my english class this is masum bil as a teacher at foridpur jilla bushun school and college in this lecture i will try to discuss the topics that have been selected for your third semester examination and so let's try to start reading our lesson in this page we can see that we have been introduced with uh, various types of prepositions mm, for example uh, we can see that in under on in front of behind between etc actually these prepositions have been introdu introduced with us uh, showing some pictures now we can understand uh, the picture to understand the use of preposition in our first picture we can see that a book has been kept inside the bag actually this uh, object actually it signifies the position of any object by in and in this picture we can see that a book has been kept under a bag actually it signifies the position of any object by under in this picture we can see that a book has been kept on a bag it signifies the position of any object by one and in this picture we can see the use of in front of in this picture you can see that a book has been kept in front of a bag actually it signifies the position of any object it signifies the front position of any object by the use of in front of and in this picture we can see a book behind a bag it also signifies the position of any object and in this picture we can easily understand that a book has been kept between two things actually between is used to signify the position to express the position of any object between two things just like this picture now let's go to another topic in the part b look and say actually taking the lesson of preposition uh, from that part of this page we have to now fill in the gap uh, we have been given some fill in the gaps to fill with preposition taking the lesson of that part in this page so let's try to fill in the gaps with preposition in this past picture we can say that the rat is this rat is between two cats uh, that means when between will be used we have to find two object here this one cat and this one cat that means we can use easily between here so the answer is the rat is between the cats in this picture we can see that the bag is in front of the door that means the bag is kept in in the front position of the door and in this picture we can see that a fish is in the net that means it has been kept inside the net and in this picture we can see that the girl is behind the tree so in the field uh, so to fill in the gap we can use behind the girl is behind the tree now let's try to understand another two pictures to fill in the gap with preposition in this picture we can see that an ant is on the igloo so to fill in the gap we can say that the ant is on the igloo that means to express the position of ant we can use on and in this picture we can say that the elephant is under the quilt so to express the position of element, uh, elephant we can use under now let's go to another phase in this page we can we have been introduced with another sub prepositions let's try to understand that um, seeing some picture in this picture we can easily understand the use of a verb that means an umbrella is a verb a man it actually signifies the position of an object by the use of a verb in this picture we can easily understand the position of the well near the tree actually near signifies the position of any object that means it signifies the position that is very much close to each other and in this picture we can easily understand the use of next to next to means beside here we can see, uh, see that a tiger sits next to a lion and in this picture we can easily understand the use of far from that means this girl is far from the village 
and this picture signifies the use and meaning of far from it is easily understand we can easily understand it by the use of picture so here four pictures have been used to make us understand what are the use of prepositions like above near next to far from etc now let's try to fill in the gaps taking the lesson of that word about preposition in the first picture we can uh, see that the zip is near the heart so we can uh, write here to fill in the gaps the zip is near the heart the tiger is far from the farm so to fill in the gap we can write here the tiger is far from the farm now let's try to fill another and uh, gaps uh, with preposition in this picture we can say that the crow is above my head and in this picture we can say that the farmer is near the tree well so in this picture we can use above my head and in this picture we can use near the tree well so to fill in the gaps we can say the crow is above my head and in this question we can say that the farmer is near the tree well punctuation and capital marks in this article we have to circle the capital letters so at first read the let's read the article it is sunday morning riya and mashuk are at the school they are in the school yard with their teachers mr mahabub and mrs faria had we have been said that find the words with capital letters letters in activity a underline them what is at the end of each sentence circle it let's try to find capital letters here we can see that sante is a word where capital letter has been used riya is the name her capital letter has been used mashuk is the name her capital letter has been used mr mahabub is the name where capital letter has been used and mrs faria is the name her capital letter has been used so from this article we can come to know about the position of the and the use of capital letters uh, first on rule is that if the word is name we must have to use capital letter in its for as its first letter and if the word is in the first uh, sentence in the first position of any sentence you must have to use first letter as capital letter in that word now let's try to stand on the page listen and say read you have you have to count number so let's try to do that 20 21 22 23 24 27 28 29 30 this are very easy i think you will read it very easily 